In this episode, we meet subscribers Sean and Teresa. We walk around probably the most desolate shopping centre in Britain. Jew and I spend a whole day working together. Will it be make or break? And are these the best pizzas this side of Rome? Stay tuned to find out. afternoon uh, we've done some bits and bobs we've been out we've had a walk we had lunch at the site and we decided to potter around um, and Sarah bought some flowers for the hanging baskets and I love gardening um, sometimes I'll admit I don't know what's a weed and what is a flower but if I'm in doubt I leave it or if it looks pretty I leave it so um, what I did yesterday was um, tied it up um, it, it was pretty neat anyway, but tidying up the front of the office, shower block, etc. with the plant pots and putting fresh soil in basically. So Sarah's now got some flowers to do in the plant pot and I thought, you know, you know, it's a lovely evening. So I've got a cup of tea and yeah, I've started with the flowers and popping them in the plant pots. So don't they look nice? Some pansies in there. All you can see is me, I'm not very good. Some pansies in there. Nice and colourful. Hello. Hello Richard. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. I'm good. So that gentleman was Richard the chef who his food his food is amazing. And I'm not just saying it because I'm here. So I'm gonna find my cup of tea because I honestly don't know where I put it down and then get on with the uh, flower planting. Like we did before. Uh, yeah, and under, under that one there, the font. All right. Yeah, look at this. Good, we're doing a bit of editing. Business. Aren't we? Bit of business going on. Jim Bob's editing the next video. Well done, Jim Bob. That's it, make it as big as it'll go. That's it, as big, keep going. It might. You're right. a whiz, aren't you? So, what we're going to need to do is change the numbers in that box. So, click on the numbers in the box where it says two, is it 288, it says or something? I take it the beer's there to keep you going, Jim Bob. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's uh, a beer oh, from. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a beer from our uh, from our subscribers that we met today, Sean and Teresa. So uh, we'll yes. see them in the morning. Oh yeah, we're going to go and uh, have a coffee with them. Have a coffee we? with them in the morning. But yeah, the beer's very nice. Thank you very much. So so if you can move it so you get this the yellow cross. That's it. Keep bringing it down. Oh. That's it. There you go. Look, fantastic. Leave the boys to the work. Cool. Good morning folks, so we're back in the lockdown cafe again, uh, it seems to be a thing when we're on our days off, doesn't it Jim Bob? Yeah. Eh? So, and yesterday we said we'd seen some subscribers who come in and gave us some chocolates and stuff, well we're having a cup of coffee with them this morning, so here's uh, Teresa and Sean, say hello, yeah. so they've come down to New Lodge Farm to see us and uh, and see, uh, see what the campsite's all about, so are you heading out on your bikes today? No, if it's not, well, if it's if it, forecasted, it's down. Yeah, it's going to be a bit showery, isn't it, today? It stays like this, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, but it's windy as well out today, isn't it? So, um, yeah. So, so we've decided to come in and we're going to have a breakfast. Because um, I don't think we've had a breakfast here yet, have we? Uh, Recommend it, yeah? No, we haven't. No? No, we haven't. So. we've had lunch, we've had um, supper, but mm. not breakfast. There we are. So we're going to have a breakfast and see what that's all about, aren't we? Yeah, which you're very happy about. So, what have you got? I got toast. Yeah. Beans. Beans. Sausage. Yeah. Bacon. Yeah. It's looking good, isn't it? 
Yeah. 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 All locally yeah. sourced food. And egg. And egg, yeah. And this is the weekday well, breakfast, yeah. isn't it? I'm yeah. having poached egg on one yeah. poached egg on But the on a weekend you can get one double the size of this. So Yeah. We're gonna tuck in that's, well we'll wait for mum first. Lot, though, isn't it? That's I plenty, that's, that's plenty, lot. yeah. Absolutely plenty there. Let's have a look. Oh, oh right. sweet. If I'm offered the choice of something savoury, I go. I'm Mr. Starter now. You've got some milk. You're going to yeah, pour your milk I'm in. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. And if someone says okay. to me at lunch, would you like a sandwich or a piece of cake? It's the it's cake yes, every time. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. 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 Yes, please. Right, yeah. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. What time is? Yes, please, what? You don't want the sandwich, you eat your breakfast. What are you on about? You're thinking about lunch already, you've not even eaten your breakfast. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> Unreal. So we've had a breakfast. Jim Bob's clearing the table because he's an expert at this now. He knows exactly where everything goes. Are you taking your pots away? Yeah. Cool. Have you drank your tea? Yeah. Was it a nice cup of tea? It mm. was. Them, them lines aren't straight, mate. <laughs> uh, when we're when we're off, then Sean and Zena are on, aren't they? So they're the wardens. So that's theirs. Look, they've got wardens on duty, and we've got wardens off duty, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. So and then we're back on on Friday, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So, although yesterday I cut the grass here because it's only fair to sort of cut this grass on our days off, isn't it? Also, yesterday we kind of. Uh, sorted the awning out a little bit, didn't we? Yeah. So we've now sort of opened up the one of the blinds, so we've got a bit of a light coming in. Um, we've still got some stuff in the corner just to sort out. Look, we've got the chairs out in the awning. <laughs> <laughs> we took a trip to Grantham, which is about 40 minutes from the campsite, to see my dad and to do a little bit of shopping. <laughs> and Jim Bob's happy again because he's shopping, aren't you? Not really. What? People aren't going to watch you anymore, are they? If they, if that's all they see when you go shopping. Because people like to go shopping. There's only you in the world that doesn't like shopping. Well, there's maybe a few blokes now sort of saying the same. <laughs> you might have a few fans actually, Jim Bob. <laughs> go on. Your list. You need to look for Carl, Grandad, cousin for Jack, uh, and cousin for Tilly. Yeah, can I have the list? Yeah, looking. Are you finding what you need? I oh, see. So looking for your friend one first. Okay. After a funny one or a nice one, funny one. a funny one, you've got them all, have you? Yeah, apart from you. Oh, shall I leave you to it? Yes, all right. The father ones are down here. Shall I pick one for you? No, yeah. I'll pick <laughs> Oh, which one do I like? <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Yeah. So, I've been banished outside now as uh, they're picking my birthday card. We're just having a look around Grantham, aren't we? And trying to find a nice bakery so we can take maybe some cakes to my dad's when we go there, because we're going to go there this afternoon, have a coffee and catch up. But uh, yeah, we're struggling to find a uh, try and find a bakery, aren't we? At least the rain's died down a bit. It's not tipping it down like it was earlier, so that's good. So, so you got my birthday card, did you? Oh, hey. look forward, I look forward to that on my birthday. 
<laughs> I bet I will. Yes. What? So this is the George Centre. What? Oh, is that what's in here? Yeah. Let's go and have a look. What? All right, we'll have a look around here. I mean, if there is one, I won't know if there's one if you're down there and I'm not, will I? Yeah, she's bloody crackers, isn't she? <laughs> Let's have a look around here. Well, it looks lovely, doesn't it? But there's nothing here. What's that? Let's have a wander down here, look, there's nobody looking around it. Shopless, shopping mall. Well, there's nothing, is there? There's no shops at all. Gosh, what are they going to do with this? Nothing. Japanese cuisine. Isn't it a shame? Really is. I think this is possibly the worst, most desolate shopping centre, shall I say, that I've ever been in. Virtually, I'd say, over half the shops are now empty. And there's just nobody walking around. And it's a shame because it doesn't even look like it's that old. <laughs> but how do you feel? How do you get um, shops back in here? Because you'd need quite a lot of shops to all come in at once and agree they're going to come in. Wouldn't you? Shame, isn't it, Jim Bob? Oh, I'm so shame. Right, let's see if Mum's back at the entrance. And if she's not, apparently she's then found a bakery somewhere. <laughs> or she's just got lost. <laughs> no, it's not down there. <laughs> so, oh, there's even some steps up to a second floor. Yes, Mum, I take it you didn't find a bakery? No, the bakery's in Grantham. Sorry? I've just asked a local mm -hmm. and she said no, that she can think of there's no independent little bakeries in Grantham. Wow. The only place she can think of is either Greg's mm -hmm. <laughs> or um, a supermarket. Wow. You want to see around there, which, well, that has got to be probably the most desolate shopping centre. I've, I've ever been in, yeah. Because the shops that go all the way around there, the shops up on the top, I mean, it's, it doesn't look like it's that old, but I would say probably two thirds of the shops are empty. Yeah. And there's nothing open, nothing open in there. Yeah. There's nothing to attract people to go down, is there? No. But it's still right in the heart of town here, aren't it? It's, you know, but. Strange. So there's another axe throwing centre. That seems to be the thing now in town centres. <laughs> you talking for? <laughs> You're the one with the umbrella. <laughs> Biggest tut ever. <laughs> I don't know why, because we weren't out in a row. No. Come on. <laughs> Bless her. Oh well. So anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely, rudely tutted at, wasn't we? Um, yeah, this axe throwing thing seems to be the the thing to be setting up now. I mean, how? Should we do it on a night out? Yeah, God knows how long it'll last for. Who knows? But uh, I suppose at some point we'll have to have a go at it. Do you fancy having a go at axe throwing? Oh uh, hey? yeah, cool. We'll give it a go sometime then. So Grantham, like a lot of towns, used to be really kind of bustling and loads of shops and people out and about and uh, yeah, it's uh, I know it's middle of the week, but it's very quiet. Um, and a lot of shops have shut down. But anyway, back to the axe throwing. Apparently, uh, Jews just mentioned that on Fail Army, so after you've watched this video on YouTube, on Fail Army, if you search Fail Army axe throwing, you'll probably find it. And uh, 
well, a lady apparently is axe throwing on the TV that's actually filming the axe throwing. She puts the axe through the TV. So anyway, go and look for that. to my dad's it's all kicking off here bloody car alarms going off and everything it's a bloody rough area around here i tell you oh right oh no it's stopped there we go all oh, the piece has now been resumed car alarm has now stopped right let's go and see if granddad rob's in shall we yeah yeah we spent the rest of the afternoon at my dad's before we headed back to the campsite ready for a busy bank holiday weekend Right, my shift starts at five o'clock and it has been awful all day. It's been blowing a hoolie. Look at it. It's absolutely awful. It's like a winter's blooming day. Right, so before I start on shift, oh, serious. before I start on shift, I am actually going to go into the... Um, the room and get my shaking. I've got the shimmer in the dry. So I need to get that first. Oh, oh gosh, it's lovely and dry here. Lovely and warm. Right. You know, I've had no um, laundry liaisons, have I? Um, but obviously, we've been. So, yeah. So, yes, we're being here. The laundry liaisons aren't, um, yeah, who are far between them because people don't tend to come on holiday then do the laundry, do they, really? So, um, I've only ever seen, a f I'd say, three, probably three or four people in here uh, washing the pots from their evening meal, mainly. So, yeah. Did that come out? Hello, oh, you! Yeah. And Sina's come to join me. Oh, do you want to say hello, Sina? Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, just annoying her. That's <laughs> the take on. Perfect. Good day. Perfect, yeah. Absolutely perfect. I tell you, you're, you're smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. We've seen you in a uh, uh, pouring with rain and you're still coming out with your clipboard, greeting them with a big smile. Hello. Excellent. It's all gone really well. There's a, there's a few discrepancies, but you'll handle that tomorrow morning. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you please. Okay. That was fleeting. So they've had a really good day. So it's been, it's been busy today. And Zena and Sean have been the... Uh, Greeting faces, let's say. Um, um, yeah, and it's not been easy because it has been chucking it down all day. So I saw a couple in a tent earlier and they literally sat in the car for about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, there was no way they were going to get it up before then. Um, yeah, it's mean outside. So it's uh, bank holiday weekend. It's uh, Good Friday tomorrow. And um, typical Easter bank holiday weather. We're actually blowing a hoolie out there at the moment. You can probably see the awning flapping away in the background. Uh, I've got about 45, 50 mile an hour winds and it's just lashing it down. So I've just been out and helped a guy take his tent down because it, well, didn't really need to take it down. It had already blown down. So um, but there is still three other tents in the field there. Two seem to be holding up and one keeps coming down, but he keeps managing to get it back up again. So um so yeah the guys where we took the tent down they've now gone into one of the pods and uh, hopefully the other guys out there will be okay for the night but it's blowing a hoolie in it it is right. so i've just been out there i've got all my all my gears all wet through now so anyway i was supposed to be cooking some tea but that's not happened so we're going to go across now to the Cafe, Cafe, aren't we? And we're yeah. gonna we're gonna go and grab some tea over there. Why not? So, so we'll take you out now. You can see what it's like out there. Let's get out there, shall we? Yeah. See if we can get across without getting too wet or blown away. Go on then. I'll follow you. Go on. I think it's actually calmed down a little bit. 
Oh. It has calmed down a bit, I think. Right, here it goes. Here it goes. You can see that. Uh, here. Yeah, and this is uh, mildly calm compared to what it has been. I know, oh, so don't go walking in it. Oh. All right. Yeah, we've got to see the amount of water we've had. It's kind of flooded our entrance, and then the tents are in the field. So wind has calmed down quite considerably. Where are we going to go? Over here. And stay in the caravans. Um, I think there's maybe one or two. There was supposed to be a few more tents, wasn't there? Um, but uh, yeah, I think they've decided against even turning up. I've probably looked at the weather forecast and thought, stop that. There we go. So we'll go and uh, and see more man annoy mum in the cafe now and buy get something to eat yeah cool yeah, it's very quiet in here tonight isn't it yeah. i think that's because of the weather unfortunately typical easter weather isn't it yeah. hello hello you're all right good So we're back in, we've had uh, had a tea over at the restaurant. Um, I had scampi and Jim Bob had chicken, chicken nuggets, didn't you? Yeah, like crispy fried chicken nuggets. So, and then, yep, we're back on tomorrow for the weekend, for the whole weekend, Friday through to Monday. So, yeah. So we'll try and bring you along with us over the bank holiday weekend. Good morning. Well, it's Easter weekend, Good Friday, and I'm up and ready for work. Somebody else, though, is just laying about in the background <laughs> in the dressing gown. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just about to head out. I've had my breakfast and my coffee, even though that says tea on it. It's definitely coffee. And uh, somebody else... Still hasn't arisen from their pit yet. No, I could still hear him snoring. I thought he might have just popped his head out, but he's snoring. Right. Love you, darling. Bye. Have a cup of tea in peace, yes. Morning, Jim Bob. Morning. You okay this morning? Yeah. The eyes awake now. Um, nearly. Nearly, okay. We've got some boiled eggs on toast this morning, haven't we? Yeah. To keep us going this morning. Dad's gone to work. He already has. Yeah, we've got to get ourselves ready, haven't we? What time yeah. are you at work? 11. 11 o'clock in the cafe? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be clearing some tables and chatting? I'll do the pot. Oh, yeah? Good man. Good man, I'm at work at two o'clock today. So this is how we roll. Uh, press play, please. So, with breakfast, um, Jamie and I like to watch just a little bit of, um, I suppose, trash, trash TV. So, um, yeah, TV's on, and what we're watching? Teen first dates. Teen first dates. Watch all the romance going on. Yes, I need to go on that. You need some romance in your life, do you? I do. Do you? I do. Would you treat her very special if you had a princess in your life? Yes. You would, wouldn't you? I would, without this. You wouldn't show a smelly horrible Zach, would you? No. No? Without that. Without that? Oh, right. So if when you meet the girl of your dreams, yeah. Zach's, Zach's being dumped, is he? Uh, well, he's not going to be dumped. Well, where's he going then? He's going in my bed. In your bed? <laughs> yeah. You need to dump Zach. Zach. Come on. I can't dump him. Oh, look. Oh. It's on. Yeah. Breakfast. Breakfast time. <laughs>
crikey, we did have some wind last night, but thankfully out there all is calm and we've got some happy campers again. So the tent you can see, probably the first tent you can see just here, that one was uh, partly collapsed last night. And there was a tent in front of that which completely came down. Uh, and unfortunately they had to go into a pod. Um, so, um, well not unfortunately, I suppose it was good for them. Yeah, nice night sleeping in a pod rather than a tent. But um, not really what they came to do for the weekend. So, but yeah, the next few days are now supposed to be calmer. So hopefully we'll have a good weekend. Where are you going? Work. Is it time for work? Yes, for me. Yeah? All right then. I'll see you in a while. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Go and get your job done. I will. Have a good time. Spring has sprung, has it? Spring has sprung. <laughs> uh, yes, they've said they're coming back tomorrow, so I said, well, we'll sort whatever out tomorrow. Okay. Um, I think Richard thought that they were going completely, so, but no. no. Anyway, just yeah. So, yeah. So, but yeah, I think it might get a bit windier again today before it quietens off. Yeah, so they just said it would check the weather, so. Yeah. So I'm just coming down here to grab a couple of tools just to uh, bury a little bit of cable. We've had a bit of a panic on the last 20 minutes or so and uh, we've had uh, somebody's pitch go out and then we've tried to put it back on and it sent other people's pitches out so it's meant sent the main switch off so then we've had to turn that back on again. Anyway we've established now that it's actually the bollard. Um, I mean we've had so much rain over the last 24 hours it's untrue. Uh, it just came hammering it down last night so I suspect possibly a little bit of water's got in somewhere because it usually does um, and it's just affected this one particular electricity bollard although it has only affected one side it's not affected the other side so the people in the on the other pitch are quite happy they've got their electric and everything on so anyway so running around because then the main switch goes off and then people come to you oh my electric's off so i'll put it back on again <laughs> <laughs> so we've had to re-jig, uh, so we have to take their cable now to a different um, socket and uh, so we've got it plugged in there, I've got them run up and running now so they can get their kettle on which is really good because they're actually in a camper van with a uh, drive away awning on the side so um, so yeah they were just uh, thankful they could get their kettle on which is great uh, however yes we have got the cable running across a small path which um, heads down to where the shepherd's huts and pods are so we obviously don't want that sort of uh, tripping anybody up so I am now just grabbing some tools to be able to dig a tiny little trench to be able to bury the cable just for tonight um so or for the next couple of days while they're here and uh, make that safe so it's a very exciting fun enjoyable job but you just want you want everybody to ex have, a, have a really good experience so when electric goes out and that kind of thing it's like right come on let's get this sorted out and uh, get get them back up and running so that they're so that they're happy campers So all sorted, um, just thought I'd come back here to the office and um, yeah, say that we've got it sorted. Oh, it's non-stop here. We've just had a bit of an emergency, but it wasn't really in the end, but uh, we were asked to come out because the gate was wide open and there's sheep in the field. We're gonna round, but, up, round up some round, sheep. Round up some sheep, but anyway, apparently. Um, I'm not admitting, can I just ask you, do you know how to round up sheep? No, I've got a clue how to round up sheep. Like, come on, go on. <laughs> oh, off you go, off you trot. But anyway, they're actually in another. They're actually in another. Oh, Richard put that in there earlier because we were going to cone something off. So, good morning. So. Uh, yeah, after the hectic day yesterday, I don't think I got finished. I can't remember whether I told you or not, but I didn't get finished until about seven, eight o'clock in the end. Because um, uh, 
the lights down the far field there weren't on because of the outage that we'd had earlier and that set that that knocked the timer out and then also uh, sorting the spa out um so uh, yeah it was a late finish but busy and enjoyable day so here we are the next morning and uh, it's very peaceful i don't think there's many campers up at the moment oh there's one chap coming down here now but other than that yeah really quiet at the moment so we'll see what today brings right we're all ready for work this morning are we not We're ready to work together all day. Oh yes, this, I think it's, is this the first time, yeah? Um, um, yeah, it is. <clears throat> so uh, yes, we're actually on together all day today. Pleased about that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Jim Bob is still fusting in his fest pit. Um, we've left him a little note. So that when he gets up, hopefully he'll uh, get himself some breakfast and what have you. And then um, he's got work at 11 o'clock. So we're all actually working today. So I'm going to finish off my coffee. Bring it on. And I think I've just heard something coming from behind the curtains. It's like the Wizard of Oz or something, isn't it? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Good morning, guys. Um, today I've got work to do because I'm in the cafe about eleven-ish. So yes, I'm working up there in the cafe today. Doing the pots and stuff. Um, so this morning I've got my breakfast with me. So, but first thing I need to do my bed, really. Right. Let's do my let's do my bed guys. Whoops I've got someone with me And that would be Snake I left him in bed with me Whoops your daisies Right let's put these stuff top of my Bad. Let's do that, guys. Right, let's put the stuff back up there. Yes, I've got a note here, and it says, Morning, Jim Bob. Hope you had a good sleep. Read books under a cuppa for breakfast. And that would be right here. Clothes for work are on the seat, and the back near cushions. That's what I've got on now, guys. Dad or... I will come back for you before 11 a.m. So I need to be at the cafe for 11 a.m. Relax until then. Love you. If you want us, if you want us, come to the office. And and Dad put 
do some Tomb of Khan if you want. Yes, I need to put the ladder away. Right. So we get the curtain shut. So we've opened up the office and started up the computer system, checked all the admin bits for this morning and there's not much to do there. So Ju has gone off to do the uh, privacy toilet <laughs> and I've come into the spa. So I thought you would probably like to see the spa rather than toilets. So I've opened up the roof on the spa. I've just checked the chemical levels, which are all good. Um, I've just gone and got the extra keys. There's some bands that we use, as you can see on my wrist there, that blue band. So uh, when you've finished in the spa, you put the blue bands in a post box outside. So I've just collected those. And now I'm just gonna go around with a net, just take anything off the top of the water that might be sort of floating about, that hasn't managed to get through the filter. And then it's a case of just going around and cleaning and mopping the areas of the spa. So we'll crack on with that. Ooh. Right, let's see. Back up to see you guys. Oh, it's not even on. Here we go. We can buy the time now. I have to put the kettle on. Yeah, mum and dad will be here in a minute. Well, not really, but mum, mum and dad will be here soon to drop me off at work in the cafe. So yeah, like it. Uh, there is a little bit of sort of, I don't know, sand or something in the actual bottom of the pool there. So what I'm going to do now is get the water hoover and hoover that up. One water hoover. Got a spoon. It's my big fix. And, and now let's make me that's some cup of tea. Oh, whoops. Whoops, it dated. Well, I just made my cup of tea. Well, I'm going to put this in, in the bin now. Right. Let's have my breakfast with a nice warm cup of tea. Oh, it looks like a crunchy today. Uh, nearly finished, guys. Nearly finished with my breakfast. So, yes. Finish my breakfast. And now I have to drink my cup of tea now. When I'm on. My iPad for a bit before I go to work. Right, so the spa's all nice and ready to go for a busy day. Everything's checked, everything's cleaned up in the spa area. Last job of the morning in here is the mopping. <laughs> I'll go in the toilets now, just take these bands back and I'll go in. I've done a nice job of the spa to uh, a blocked toilet, which I've now actually unblocked. So nice and clean now, but uh, what happened was it blocked. 
system kept running and it's kind of kind of flooded the floor a little bit so um, thankfully it was relatively clean water so uh, we'll get it mopped up now. So we've got the flood up as you can see it's hot in that toilet trying to mop the floor up so it's probably took about 10-15 minutes just to get the, the flooding up. Thankfully it was relatively clean water out of the toilet but obviously we now need to go over it and mop it with a floor cleaner to clean the mop out obviously and to get the floor clean. So there we go, we've got the uh, floor cleaner in the bucket. I'm going to fill that up now and then I'll give it a mop over with that. And it's only just gone nine o'clock. <laughs> Smart, ready to go. Yeah, you had your breakfast, have you? Yes. Fantastic. What did you have for breakfast? Root beer. Oh. Did you? Was it nice? Yeah, a bit crunchy. <laughs> a bit, bit what? A bit crunchy. A bit crunchy. Ah, <laughs> oh, good stuff. Brilliant. Marvellous. And what have you got in your hand here? Well, I got elephant chippy. Oh, is that something you're organising for the summer? It is. Mm, that'll be interesting, won't it? Yeah, I'll be doing it. Will you? Yes. So you're going to show Sarah that, are you? Yes. Okay. See you in a bit then. Yes, in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay. Right, okay, so uh, we are a good way through the morning now. We're almost coming up to 12 o'clock and uh, got the office tidy up, floors mopped. Jude's now gone into the toilets to um, clean those. Uh, I'm gonna go around and make sure that those that have depart, uh, were departing today have gone. And uh, just to check that the other guys just coming on have, um, have got pitched up okay. And I've also got a, my compressor that I'm gonna take around to a guy who's got a bit of a flat tire, he says so. I said, well, I've got a compressor, hopefully it'll this one goes up to 150 PSI, so I think he only needs to go up to about 70, 80, so. Yeah, so I'll drop that off to him so he can use that and uh, have a little check around. And just as I'm about to go, here comes Jim Bar. Yeah. So, what are you doing? Doing the parts. Doing the parts? <laughs> are you busy? Yeah. Yeah? So what are you doing here now if you're doing the parts? I don't know. Oh, you've just decided to come out for a bit, have you? Yes. Oh, has it got busy? <laughs> You're all worn out. Yes. You've only been there about an hour. What's going on, man? I don't know. Oh, have you had a drink yet? I have. Oh, well, there you are then. So you've got to get used to sort of doing this work. You've got a bit of sleep in your eye. Honestly. Well, oh, you hear the motorbikes on the main road. Yeah. Um. So, so where are you heading now? Back in the minute. Oh, yeah. You just come out for a bit of fresh air, have you? Yes. All right. So, do you want to have a little tootle around the site with me? Yeah. Yeah, come on then, have a tootle around and then I'll bring you back. Okay. Let's go and have a look. So, who have we got? I've got to check that uh, right, FK. Got off these to make sure that they're close. Johnny, and I've got a father with me. Wow. So we've just dropped off that compressor, haven't we? Yeah. To all of the customers, because they can then blow their, oh yeah, they can blow their uh, flat tie back up. So I'm just going to go around now, make sure everybody else is okay, and check who we've got on. Yeah. You're okay there, are you? Brilliant, thank you. Brilliant, yeah, because you found one. Is that all right where we are? Yeah, I, I, think, I think so, yeah, it looks good, looks good, looks all right, so. So yeah, it's just yeah, just make sure you're not over. You, you can put anything else the other side of that disc, you know. If you've got a water yeah. barrel or anything or anything else, they can go that. It's just yeah, the unit it's itself, that's all. So, 
So yeah, spot on. No worries. All right, see you in a bit. Apartment. There you go. Checked in. You need to speak up a bit if you want. Oh yeah. Hiya. Hi. More pots to do. Good. Nice. And then we have the lunch. After that. There we go. I'm just going to check these bins while I'm here. Oh, Dad's going to check some bins that you can see over there. So that's what Dad's doing. Right. right, I'm gonna do them because they aren't really doing that. Oh, that's doing something oh. up there somewhere. So, open the beans again. So, right, I'll let that do the beans and then I'll go back to the cafe again. Right. Lunch. So you're going back in the cafe now, are you? I am. Well, thanks for coming and helping us out. It's okay. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, it's in a bit, don't guys. Work, don't work too hard. I won't work too hard. <laughs> hard. <laughs> so, you've come and joined me, have you? You've, yeah. had, you've had your lunch and you've been in the van for a bit and had a rest? Yeah. Cool. Now what are you doing? Going back there, isn't it? Oh, you're going back to the van? Yeah. Oh, you're not going to help me dig? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. What? You've got some digging to do down here, man. Look at this. <laughs> look, look. See, I've been digging this path now. Look at that. And you're not helping me? <laughs> no. What do you mean, don't? <laughs> okay, come on, pick up a rake. Come on, come on. <laughs> That's not funny, you know. <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'm breaking my back here, man. <laughs> Have you been seeing Mum? Yeah. Yeah, she's over there, look, I think. Can we zoom through? There she is, under the tent. So she's been cutting the grass around the tent and strimming. Yeah. Aren't she? And you, what are you doing? I'm oh, sitting around on your backside. <laughs> Aren't I? <laughs> uh, right, well, so you're not going to help me then? <laughs> no, go on then, clear off. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, off he trots. And another day complete. So, Drew's just going around just to finish off collecting in the bin bags that I've just tied up and took out the bins, and we are done. And we've booked the spa for tonight. So, we're going in there in a little while just to chill out. Achy backs and all that. And this cheeky monkey, only five minutes ago, I thought I'll just bring a couple of bits back to the van and he was charging back down the van after trying to get himself a piece of bread and butter. <laughs> and it's nearly tea time. So stop pinching the flipping bread and butter. Got it? I'll have one. You're not having one. It's unbelievable. You've had your dinner. Stop messing about with your toes. But nobody wants to see that. Oh. Anyway, it's been a lovely day. Uh, we've had the skylight open and the sun is now setting over there. We're going to chill out now for the rest of the evening. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. You were busy in the cafe earlier, weren't you? I was. Good. Right. I'm going to get out of my work gear and wait for mum to get back and then we'll head over to the spa. Yeah, but then bread and butter. <laughs> You're not having a bread and butter. Right. You can have a lettuce leaf. No. Yep. No. That's it. One lettuce leaf no. for you. For no. tea. Yep. So we've just come out of the spa, haven't we? Yeah. And now we're going to head to pizza night. It's the first pizza night of the year. The Italian flags are out. And uh, we're going to head in and have some homemade pizza. 
ready for this. We have got amazing pizzas. We've got drinks already. Look at this. And got an egg in the middle. Look at that. Superb. They look great. Thank you very much. Right, let's get them over there. Here we go. Who's is this one? Julie. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I've got it stuck. Oh, and the fries are on the way. Lovely. Thank you, Simon. There you go. Lovely. Tough. All right, guys, looking good. Yeah. There you go. And that one. Look at this. Got some fries. They're sweet potato fries. And one with a pepperoni. So I've got to say, these are probably the best pizzas in the countryside right now. Don't they look amazing? Or, so we're going to give them the taste test and we'll let you know what they taste like. Freshly made, look at that. Yeah. Mm. Straight for that egg. And again. Well, I've bitten into it, and I have got to say, this is, and I'm not just saying it, it's actually really, really nice. But I think it does help when you've got good um, good ingredients on it. So, um, I have heard of egg on a pizza before, but I've never actually tried it, and um, yeah. actually, surprisingly, goes well. Someone, so. someone we know has egg on a pizza, mm. How's it going, Jim Bob? Perfect. Perfect. No. Let's try one of the um let's try one of the fries. Okay, so these are sweet potato fries. Mm. Very nice. Wow. Well, I can't eat anymore. I'm absolutely stuffed. Good job of eating it all, innit? <laughs> and you've eaten all yours, haven't you? Yes, I have. Mm. In one go. In, in one go? Yeah. You put it all in in one go? Yes, mm, I, do. I don't think so. Anyway, I was just saying, I've got to say, and again, not just saying it, but that has. The only other pizza that's been as good as that was probably about, when I was about 20 and working in Boston at the time, a new pizzeria opened up and a guy was Italian and he did these most amazing pizzas. And I don't think I've tasted one as good as those since until tonight. And um, yeah, that was spot on. Although the folks here are Italian, or don't think they are. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe Simon's got some Italian blood in him, eh? So, uh, but anyway, that was a that was a spot on pizza. You you can't manage it, can you? No, I can't eat it anymore. It's lovely, delicious. So, so we're going to need a box for Jews pizza. She'll have it for breakfast in the morning. Um, so, so if you are <coughs> in Northamptonshire, local to Bulwick or Corby, get yourself down to New Lodge Farm on a Saturday night. You don't need to be a resident. You don't need to be on site. You can come from surrounding area or wherever you may be and uh, yeah come and taste these amazing pizza pizzas because they are um anyway i'm gonna have, i'm gonna have another beer i think just just to wash that down it's really nice do you have any other cider i'm a drunk <laughs> juice on the cider <laughs> tipping it back yeah i'll have another one <laughs> Thanks, you're in big eyes. <laughs> I will. Well, what a finish. What a, what a, what a, a good finish to a, a busy and productive day. So we'll probably see you in the morning. Do the honours, Jim Bob. Yeah, see you in the morning, guys. <laughs>